America the Beautiful is no more. You're listening to The Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. In Waco, Texas, the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights suffered their final defeat as a brave, small group of people huddled in the church were assaulted by tanks, by gas, and finally were burned to death. The second battle of the second American Revolution has come to an end. And folks, we lost. And you're next. against law to buy a firearm. It's not against law to, to buy anything that they sell at a gun show. And when this is all resolved, you know, hey, yellow sheet is legal. The accusation is not. And bringing these tanks and stuff around here, I tell you what, being an American first, I'm the kind of guy and I'll stand in front of a tank, you can run over me, but I'll be biting one of the tracks. No one's going to hurt me or my family. That's, 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 that's American policy here. You could have arrested me any day as I jog up and down this road. You could have arrested me going to town or going to Walmart. Waco is going to bear witness against the ATF. The two agents across the street over here, uh, Robert Gonzalez, I love the guy. I was honest with him. I brought him into my home. He was going to stay there for two weeks. All this stuff you may, you guys may want to avoid and deny. You know? You know, he wanted to tour around a place. I promised him a tour. He could have talked to any of these guys around here, anybody. He was free to come and go as he chose. And I do not appreciate it, and never will I ever appreciate somebody coming here with two helicopters and cattle, cattle trailers and all that and uh, pushing people around with guns. Hey, I'll meet you at the doorstep any day, you know, and somebody will get hurt. If you want to keep playing that game, I'm talking to you. Somebody's going to get hurt because this ain't America anymore when the ATF has that kind of power to come into anybody's home and kick doors down and things like that. Now, I, I heard, I, and I do understand, someone reminded me of this, I do understand that one of the officers says his gun went off on accident. And that, you know, that was just like a signal and all that, you know. But look, besides the point, ATF, you boys are wrong. Your practices, your habits, yeah. Drug dealers, fine. You know, but even there's always a question. If there's any question whatsoever, the kids or women are involved, damn you, I tell you what, you keep your damn gun in your holster. You send a couple of big, brave, invincible kind of men, you let them knock on the door. If they're so damn involved to where they can risk their lives for the name of the law, then send them up bulletproof, put them in some kind of uh, night armor or whatever, and let them knock on the door and ask the questions first. But no one's going to expect me, when they come busting in on my door with guns drawn and pointed in the air, and someone fired me, that I'm going to lay down and die for anybody. That just ain't going to happen in this country. God speaks to me. I have a message to present. You may not believe that. If you don't believe that, then believe this irrespective of God speaking to me. You see this here? See, this is my family. It may not be like your family. You know, it may not be like your family. This one here, you know, he's my family too. Right, Joseph? Yeah. Tell him, tell him, you know. Look in that camera and tell him what you think about it. Who treated you good? Is it? You know, do you mind that, son? Huh? Do you love Joseph? You our best buddy? Yeah. Yeah. You too, Damon? So, you know, you guys, you guys, you have you do it your way, I do it my way. You got to argue with me, you catch me on the side of the road somewhere, you come and argue with me. 
you come point guns in the direction of my wives and my kids, damn it, I'll, I'll meet you at the door any time. And I'm sorry some of you guys got shot. But, uh, hey, God will have to sort that out, won't he? So we're going to send this tape out now. And I, I'm leaking in the back here. i got to get this taken care of. And uh, I'm hoping it gets stronger. And maybe we can send more tapes as issues develop. I do thank you guys. Sheriff Harwell, God bless you. And, you know, thanks for getting us the milk. And uh, what can I say? You just um, They call me a rambling man, don't they? Anyway, God bless, and we'll sign off, Steve. Together to guard the truth so you might know down the road that followed Deep Creek at the turn that crossed the bridge. Federal marshals had the roadblock to mark the siege of Ruby Ridge. There, the armies of the enemy slayed your bride and only son, nearly killed your close companion. When the shrapnel pierced his lung We stand with you, Randy Weaver Cause your Lord and Savior lives Wheresoever eagles gather That is where his body is On that evening, late one August you were forced to take your stand There to strangers as they trespassed Do first blood on private land Governor Andrus back in Boise Let the enemy tell him lies And from his anti-Christ decision Sam and Vicky lost their lives Federal agents, U.S. Marshals And FBI men stormed the hill all on false, fictitious charges, given orders, shoot to kill. We stand with you, Randy Weaver, cause your Lord and Savior lives. Wheresoever eagles gather, that is where his body is. of the enemy may surround us in the night there's a host of heavenly angels hovering near ready to fight we stand with you randy weaver we are proud to call you friend as we gather here together to stand beside you till the end we stand with you Randy Weaver, cause your Lord and Savior lives, wheresoever eagles gather, that is where his body is, wheresoever eagles gather, that is where his body is. I warned you, I told you that this was the goal that the federal government had in mind when they first raided the church called Branch Davidian in Waco, Texas. Almost a hundred people dead, if you count the people who died in the initial assault, and quite a few wounded. 
And it's not over yet, for that's only the second battle. The first was Randy Weaver in Idaho, where his son and his wife were murdered, murdered by federal forces. And the whole nation stood by as this little church was raided by federal forces and then surrounded and placed under siege. Fifty-one days, folks, America stood and did nothing. I and many others have warned you that these people were going to be murdered. I told you several times on this show, these people are going to be killed. But the goal was to kill them. They had broken no laws. Every weapon in their possession was a legal weapon. In fact, the local sheriff of the county in which they live had at one time confiscated all of their weapons, checked them all, and returned them to the church of Branch Davidian because they were all legal. 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 But no, you the sheeple fell for the great propaganda machine. All of the buzzwords compound, compound. David Koresh called himself Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Cult, 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 cult. The warrants were sealed. No one asked the right questions. Our forefathers left Europe to come to this country, to this land, folks, to escape religious persecution. They put together the only document in the history of the world that ever set man free, the Constitution of the United States of America, and the first ten amendments, known as the Bill of Rights. They gave us every tool we needed to succeed, including the second article and amendment to that document, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. They used the military. They brought in military equipment. They destroyed property. 